Hello, this is Professor Tom Wolf, and this is a quick overview of week two of our client side web programming course. Uh, last week we created uh, page and site templates in NetBeans using the sandbox. We're going to use those for our labs. We did our first lab where we learned the get element by ID DOM method. And we learned how to delay code until the page had loaded. We also learned about how pa code is rendered and how the uh, page still uses the top-down execution and how we take that into account in our programming. Uh, this week we're going to create a uh, simple input process output pattern program. And we'll use HTML5 form elements for this, although we won't use a complete form. Later on, we'll do form processing. Uh, this is just a way to use the graphical user interface widgets uh, from the form set in HTML5 to create uh, interactive programs. Uh, we'll write event handler functions, mainly in line click handler for when the user submits the data from the form. And then we'll show how we can attach those functions uh, as handlers to form events. Again, it'll be the on-click event here. We'll again review that delayed code execution method uh, where we put the code into a single uh, function that's for the whole app. That does some other things for us too. It tends to separate and modularize the uh, scope for the variables. We'll talk about that. Okay, learning outcomes. Uh, basically, you want to continue with the readings, and uh, you're going to pick up that basically a lot of the JavaScript is similar to any of the C family languages, and for most of you, that'll be Java. So, for instance, the control structures if, then, else, uh, for, while, uh, do while are all the same. Uh, what's different in the variables, we'll start to see more of that as we go, so we don't have the strong typing that we do in those languages. Uh, we'll explain how the, uh, you should be able to explain how the DOM programming works, how event-driven programming works, really should already know that. Uh, you should be able to attach a handler function to a page element, like we'll do in our assignment with the on-click. And then again, you should be able to use these uh, HTML5 form elements to create these simple kinds of input, process, output style patterned programs. Uh, resources. Uh, continue reading the Modern JavaScript book. Read chapters 4 to 6. I have two PowerPoint instructor presentations. JS02 is a real quick overview of JavaScript syntax. It just maps it to what you already know uh, from Java or some other C family language. And then uh, the JS functions explains how the functions work, which we'll need for the lab this week. Uh, continue working through the W3 Schools JavaScript tutorial. Uh, do the, some of the readings from the JS Advanced section and the JS HTML DOM section. Uh, the specific sections are uh, noted in Blackboard there. Here I'm just telling you in general what you're going to be looking at. I have two instructor videos, uh, an in-class DOM programming demo I did before that uses Dreamweaver. Don't worry about that, we're using NetBeans instead. And then a three video sequence which probably isn't super helpful but you might want to look at uh, it kind of jumps ahead and shows you a very a more intricate uh, JavaScript app that I developed. So it's got a bit more code in it than that. I don't know if that's helpful or not at this point. And then you can also use the uh, Linda JavaScript Essentials video and the New Boston JavaScript tutorials. Okay, I hope we have a good week this week.